Oh. <laughs> yeah, quite enjoyed that. Uh, I mean, I guess we've never played before, and I guess maybe it'd be interesting to know what are your thoughts like when you're going to play with someone you've never played before in terms of like, um, not necessarily the musical sounds, like I've heard some of your sounds and you've heard some of my sounds, so mm -hmm. we kind of are a little bit of aware of the, the world, but like the, the, the way in which people talk, like the way that sort of people musically communicate, like how do you go into that, like into a per Well, I actually tend to, I mean, <clears throat> I think for me it's obvious, it's like having a conversation, I mean, I don't know you, but if we meet at a, a bar, we can talk, we eventually discuss something right either we agree or not, don't agree but we talk and uh, we develop some ideas and i think it's pretty it might seem a bit uh, simple to but it, and actually actually i think that a bit of, of more than the, the that happens here it's it's that it's uh, i mean i'm listening and i'm trying to see what i can contribute or if I agree or if I don't agree with that or if I would play and if I would try to get the conversation to my side or if I so it's um, I think it's similar in that way so it's uh, could be not a, as much philosophical or mm. <laughs> but um, it's pretty much like that and then the well the 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 tools to get there, the instruments, and um, I mean, you just, um, well, like the, the conversation, if you don't have the, the, the right kind of arguments for that, either you listen, either you just try to, let's talk about football. <laughs> and um, so it's, um, um, well, a bit like that. I'm not sure if I'm make myself clear if I yeah, yeah. putting it in a, a simple way. I understand what you mean because for me that's one of the more the parts I find most interesting like obviously I like the sounds I like the pedals I like the, the all the mm -hmm. textures and the sounds I have going on here like the sounds I think are um, in this context or at least playing with people like you mm -hmm. like interesting like the sounds themselves will handle themselves we don't need to think yeah. about the sounds but for me what I think is the where we can really make something interesting or where, where something interesting happens is that, is the, the conversation, the like, do we agree, do we disagree, do I follow, do we lead, do we like, do we leave space, do we, we mm -hmm. contribute, like all of these things um, in the moment to moment that they happen, but also how we, as like our personalities do that. Mm -hmm. Like, am I gonna be like, oh, uh, uh, your football team sucks, uh, you know, like, are we gonna yeah, sort yeah. of like fight about it or are we just gonna be like, I disagree, so I'm just gonna like sit back, like, Basically, the, the, the way that in, uh, people it, uh, interact when they improvise, separate from the, the sounds that they make when they improvise, which is kind yeah. of different. Yeah, and I, th I think that, uh, at least for me, I mean, yeah, you could get the, the drive the, the, the improvisation, the, the conversation to a, a way that you don't agree and you are <laughs> pulling all of it. But that, uh, uh, I think that we all get that, um, um, objective that is to make it work. Mm. So um, either you okay, no, no, is right that, that that thing is cool, and I will go after him and uh, try to get something there. And or if I'm not making it, uh, I'll try to or be quiet and uh, get uh, rid of that and let let me see what if I can understand what's being taught or. Uh, or how can I get there or what can I do to to contribute mm. uh, most of the probably some of the times it's like well uh, I, I don't think of anything that <laughs> could fit and I will stay and it's actually a, mm. a good idea to yeah, yeah. stay put and uh, well, I'll wait for uh, mm. the right moment yeah uh, actually I was thinking that uh, uh, you were waiting because I was well I'm not getting a uh, in the last part of the, mm. the, the improvisation, not getting it quite a good thing for uh, for interaction, and, uh, and then I realized that uh, well, it was, it was probably time to. <laughs> I to mean, it stop. was. It was but also uh, leaving space as well, but yeah, like yeah, but I was like, yeah, 
I had to try to figure out, but I was. Uh, then it's like um, uh, getting to the conversation again. It's like getting away from. Um, let's say we are, we were talking about football, but uh, we're not agreeing with the with the teams or which team is better. So let's get to another place. Let's talk about uh, anything else. But sometimes you have to. Um, you cannot. Uh, okay. Just stop, like, let's talk about uh, it's kind of withdraw and get it uh, somehow, uh, get something related that can move to another conversation that uh, the weather. Hmm. Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it was because the weather was bad, and yeah, now the weather, and then getting to another place. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's kind of confusing what I'm saying, but it's, <laughs> it's uh, well. It's the way that uh, interacting and getting that uh, objective that, uh, well, somehow we have to end up with uh, s something that uh, yeah. works. Yeah. So w with that, like, what do you think makes something work? Or like, what is something that works? Like, what, is, what does that mean? Well, it has to be uh, pleasant for who's playing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And also for, for who's listening. Mm. So, uh, I mean, sometimes when you, if you have an audience and if you get a chance to get a glimpse of the, what they are uh, feeling, like mm. if they are, it's nice because you then, oh, I'm in the, the right place. Yeah. But uh, at least the, the feeling uh, like I'm giving something and I, I'm feeling pleased with what's mm -hmm. happening, I think it's the, the most important. If you are pleased with what uh, you are playing and what you're making, I'm sure that it goes through, the, it passes through yeah, the yeah. audience because um, they also feel like, oh, oh they are having fun. So, mm. yeah, yeah, we should also <laughs> be having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's when when it's two people. I think there's a different thing in in, in some of that, and also when there's an audience and not an audience, because yeah. there's certain things that like obviously here there's not very many people, so like yeah. the vibe of the room is is just us. Um, but I think there are circumstances where, uh, let's say, like in, in an improv, like where I could be doing something where let's say it's something that not isn't something that I think is really good, but I think is working well for the overall thing. Mm -hmm. So something that could be silence, like, you know, like silence isn't the most fun yeah, thing yeah. to do in the world, but it could be like, this is appropriate to make the music better right now. Um, in, in a duo thing, it's, it is kind of weird in that, like, if I go silence, like, oh, is he stopping? Like, yeah. there's that, like, it's yeah. a, <laughs> there's a, 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 it has a bigger command than if we were, let's say we were a trio. And if I stopped yeah. playing, it would be unremarkable. Like, that's super normal. But in two people, it's like, oh, okay, it's just, yeah, just it's, me now. <laughs> it, it turns a bit, uh, it's easy because you, the, your interaction is only with uh, the other musician. Mm. But then there's has that uh, uh, drawback because yeah. if you get stuck like, oh, I cannot get anything uh, that's interesting to get in here. And if you, if you silence yourself, uh, then it, it's... Uh, it's noticeable. Mm. I think that the 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 small group would be a trio because of that. And yeah, solo is also a bit awkward because you tend um, up to. I mean, at least I think it's the only way because the only time that would, that that happens. Because if I'm if I'm improvising with another uh, musician, I always tend to always kind of empty and go with the flow and see what I'm not thinking of what I'm going to do next. Yeah, yeah. But if you're in a solo situation, yeah. <laughs> you tend to, because it's also kind of um, uh, a backup, mm. so you don't get, because you cannot uh, stop in that, that sense of, I don't have anything to say, because if you stop, yeah, yeah. it ended. <laughs> the, the, so you, you have to keep uh, thinking ahead. Mm. So, I don't know, instant composition, or yeah, yeah, yeah. More, more like that. Mm. And, uh, but then the duo has that um, uh, advantage that you can be concentrated on the, I mean, it's uh, my stuff and uh, the yeah. other stuff, and it's only one musician, so 
you, for instance, if you have a trio and everyone is disagreeing, uh, it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> where do I fit? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and probably everyone is thinking the same. But actually, this is, I mean, uh, it's random. Uh, I mean, there's, you can have a trio that's always playing from the beginning to end. No one stops and everything seems like, uh, oh, they just playing the last album mm. and uh, they're just improvising right. where you cannot you can have a, like a complete uh, that's not working mm. <laughs> not working and uh, getting it all scattered because i think it's well it's also important it's part of uh, of um, improvisation you, you cannot guarantee even with the, the best musicians in the world and uh, guys that are experienced with uh, improvising, not always that mm. goes well. So, well, it's uh, improvising, it's, uh, uh, it's kind of that um, playing without a, uh, it's like going to the, to the wires without oh, a net. Without net. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> if you fall, you fall. Yeah. I mean, I think that's also, I mean, for many people, that's the sort of the beauty yeah. of it, like that danger. And sometimes you fall and that's, yeah, yeah. that's how it goes. And that's actually what gives it um, so intense. Uh, yeah, yeah. I usually, and, well, with the, the, all the playing, um, and if it's, uh, now we are just doing a, a small set, and uh, but if you are performing, uh, at least for me, it, it asks more from me, and uh, I uh, I'll end up really tired in the in the end because oh. it's so tired, but not uh, in a in a negative sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tired because it was demanding, hmm. because you had to be doing a lot of stuff and thinking and uh, getting the right uh, stuff. I mean, it's not actually thinking, but it's. Uh, Letting it go with the well, all the energy, hmm. and uh, if you're playing like a score or something, you have that um, comfort zone that uh, well, I'm playing this. Of course, that you could have more feeling or more or less feeling, and giving a better or uh, performance or not. But uh, it will actually not be so demanding as. Um, I think of that. I think of the improvisation as more demanding, mm. at least. But it's a nice sensation, and I, as the um, the fact that uh, the playing without a net and uh, uh, not knowing what uh, what will happen, it's also it's kind of a that adrenaline thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think. Yeah. Cool. Well, shall we play some more? Yeah. yeah.
Thank you.
If you'd like to support the making of these videos, please join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.